Earlier this week, I sued the U.S. Department of Justice, and I further filed an additional FOIA request to understand what President Biden told Jack Smith, what Merrick Garland told Jack Smith, because we want the truth. Today, I'm in front of the courthouse in Washington, D.C., where the 45th president of the United States, my competitor in this race, will be arraigned later today. But I think that the symbolic moment of today is something far deeper than just this case. We live in an era of the noble lie, the so-called lie that the government tells to its people because it believes the people can't handle the truth. Why is it that we see the rise of three different indictments, three supposedly independent prosecutions at the same time in the midst of a presidential election? It's because the government does not trust the people to select their leaders. This is the old world view rearing its ugly head again. We fought a revolution in this country in 1776 for a simple idea, that we the people determine how we select our leaders and have a government that is accountable to its people rather than the other way around. Yet today we now live in a country where when the people question that government, they are themselves the subject of scrutiny. That is wrong. I was in Nashville yesterday demanding the release of that transgender shooter's manifesto. Tell the truth. Biden, Garland, tell us the truth about what you actually told Jack Smith. And you go back over the last year, it's the same story all over again. Tell us the truth about the COVID origin. Tell us the truth about where the virus originated. Tell us the truth about what we know about vaccine mandates and mask mandates. Even in a recent hearing about UFOs in Congress, just tell us the truth instead of repeatedly hiding from us the information that we need as a people. Turns out that trust is a two-way relationship. The reason that the people don't trust the government is that our government no longer trusts the people. So is this a politicized persecution through prosecution? I certainly believe it is. But it's the government's job to be transparent about exactly who told who what to bring about these prosecutions, because the fact they're arising at the same time is no accident. And I think it's best that the government now be transparent with the people about what their intentions actually are. Without that transparency, we can only expect far worse in the future.